and welcome back to MD Globe Muscle here at the Rise Moon Studio with me, your host, Charles Thomas. I'm joined all the way from day after the NPC Nationals, Nate Spear. What's up, guys? Nay, I How like it. I like it when the competitors are still tanned up, mate, because that's just the best way. Best time. Best time. Raw and real emotional, you know? <laughs> yeah. Mate, you just got your pro card. You just did really well at the Nationals. How'd you feel? Oh, man, it's a, it's a dream come true because the people that follow me, I've been pretty close uh, numerous times, you know? So I think I, so I've been runner up from a pro card before this three other times. And then I also placed top five before a couple other times. So it's sort of been one of those things where I've been sort of, you know, in the, in the grips of it and uh, pretty close. So to finally uh, sort of get the deal done is uh, very, uh, it's a weight lifted off my shoulders and a huge achievement for myself. I mean, that, I, I said in the, the hot news segment we filmed before, I said, I think that's, I mean, I, I, even before the Nationals, I think this was one of the best NPC Nationals in terms of quality and quantity for, I think, about a decade. Oh, yeah. Well, so that was an, that's another cool thing is to be able to, you know, accomplish, you know, achieving my pro card in a class of, you know, 22 super heavyweights or whatever. Wow. And then there were, I think, 40 heavyweights, you know, like, that's pretty cool because I know at the beginning of the year, like USA has only had like eight guys or something in the supers. And there was a couple of shows that I would say like around the weaker side. Um, so to be able to compete against some of the best guys in the U S um, and, you know, the top five guys were remarkable. So, I mean, you got, you know, a guy like Matt Berzikoff, who's been a runner up before he used to compete with Steve Kukla at team nationals. Wow. Um, John is it John is He was the top three with Sergio and Eddie back in 2015. He did the show, um, you know, some big names like that. Uh, good guy, Chris fine. who got fourth. He's a really big super to, so to be able to beat some of those guys really makes me feel like I, I earned it. And, you know, as rightfully so. Mm. Cause I was saying in the, in the hot news, I said, it's great to get your pro card. If you get your pro card ever, it's, it's a huge achievement, but if you get your pro card, at the NPC Nationals. It's just, it's it always, because I've been following the sport since 1990, it kind of does, it's a little bit extra special when you get it at the NPC Nationals, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Well, some sometimes people would be like, because I did turn 35 this year, so a lot of people were saying like, oh, when you go the Masters route, and it's nothing against them, but it's just for me, I'm a big bodybuilding nerd as well. So the prestige of, you know, being able to earn my card and say at NPC Nationals or even at NPC USA's was was really something that I really hoped and dreamed for because, you know, that's where sort of all the greats had achieved their pro status. Yeah. Um, and obviously the most historical show, NBC Nationals, is the first one, you know what I mean, to uh, in the United States. Um, yeah, so it's definitely a prestigious feeling to, you know, earn your pro card at the Nationals. You know, got Lee Haney, Kevin Navrone, Dennis Newman. I mean, the list is just... Uh, I mean, even Ronnie Coleman didn't get his pro card at the Nationals, mate. You know, it's, it's perspective, isn't yeah. it? Right. So, um, I mean, I, I, you really came from my radar. I mean, I've, I've, I've heard of you before, and I've, but I think it was the some of the progress videos out about, it was only about two weeks out. And I really, you re I thought, okay, this guy is really going to be a factor. Because I was seeing all the pitching videos, and I was like, okay, he's good, he's good. But nothing was really kind of like as a, as a potential kind of winner. And then I yeah. think it was a video, and everything just came, it, I think it was the last one. You were just hitting your compulsories. And I just thought, okay, you've got my attention there. This guy is really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, so we did a pretty cool video shoot with my buddy there in New England, Muscle Media. He's out of our area in New England. I know him. And that was really cool because it was at Montanary Powerhouse Gym. So, you know, I was privileged enough. That's another, you know, sort of nostalgic bodybuilding, uh, you know what I mean, sort of place as far as, you know, there's where Evan trained out of and stuff like that. So, mm. um, but yeah, I think this year I finally started to come into my own. Um, so before... You know, I'd been runner up and stuff like that and close. But I think my physique now was at that level where, OK, this guy looks like he could be a pro, you know, whereas before I'd been close. But, you know, I don't really think my physique was quite at that level to, you know, solidify, OK, this guy could be a pro. Um, so we made a lot of improvements this last year, especially the legs. I did post like some transformation stuff on my picks from last year to this year. And I just think my look is just more developed, um, more complete top to bottom. Yeah. And just everything just sort of is well put together now. Whereas before it was like, okay, like this is a little missing, you know, this could be better. I mean, obviously I'm still trying to get better, obviously, because I'm not right there because I'm now I'm a pro. So it's like starting over, right? <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, your balance is is like because because thing is like I mean, for months we've been saying really everyone in the in the industry has been saying, look, Carlos Thomas Jr. Once that guy gets in condition, yeah. he can pretty much just go and pick his pro card up because you know he he's got a pro level physique, but it just wasn't the condition. You, but yeah. he wasn't. I mean, he, he he obviously was a fantastic, but he wasn't as hard as you. So you had someone that yes, he was bigger and rounder than you, but your conditioning, yeah. you know, everywhere, top to toe, in every single pose, every single compulsory pose was absolutely, I mean, you were dry as you could be. So it wasn't, do you know what I mean? It wasn't like it was apples or oranges, you know? Well, I think that was really a, a, an honor too, because for me to be able to stand next to, you know, a guy like Carlos, who we know was obviously at some time, he's going to tap into his full potential and do some serious damage on the pro level. So for me to have like pictures, like, you know, hanging next to him and I thought I, it would compare pretty well. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, his own genetic sort of anomaly, but for me to like look at pictures and be like, oh, wow, I compared pretty well next to this guy. Um, you know, that was a really good feeling too. And as far as like, you know, earning a second place pro card, I mean, I'm, I earned it next to that guy. Yeah. So that was, you know, sort of solidified a feeling of, you know, good accomplishment as far as like, okay, it was no easy sort of, you know, status to earn. Yeah. Have you seen the score sheets yet? No, I haven't. Because I'm thinking, you know, you got a guy there, like I said, with just, you know, this different kind of physique and but not dry, dry. And then you that's really, you know, you've got great symmetry, great conditioning. You know, I'd be interested to see whether it was a, as a straight first victory for him or whether it was a little bit more, OK, maybe this guy, you know, I'd be interested to see that. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it was weird, like at prejudging. I mean, so I sort of started on the end and then they put part. It was funny because I almost felt like they knew Carlos was coming <laughs> because they, they literally put him right in the middle as soon as he walked out and he just stayed there. Yeah. And then me and him, it was an eight man first call out and me and him split the middle. So at the end, like, so I was in towards like halfway through. So I sort of sat there for quite a while. So I sort of knew that I was probably in the one or two, but I mean, I felt like two just because Carlos was, you know, they sort of put him there right immediately without even looking at him, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, but yeah, like I said, I mean, that guy just has a crazy physique and, you know, just to see him, uh, you know, I think he's just going to be something that's going to be a really bright future for that kid. So how far into the super heavyweights are you? Uh, so I, I weighed in at 242 and wow. probably on stage 246. Okay. So 212 is out of the, I, out of the, uh, out of the like, uh, contention. Yeah. I've always had like a sort of thing where, you know, I don't know. I, I call it like the the white guy thing where it's like, <laughs> you almost look not quite as heavy as you are. So mm. like for me as a pro, I'd probably have to be still be like, you know, 260 or whatever to yeah. sort of fill up my name even more, um, which I think I can do. But because like you say, like, you know, 240, 245, like that, that's pretty big and, and in condition. But, you know, it's one of the things where it's like you look at Steve Kuklo, who are probably he's maybe a little taller, but I'm 5'10". You know, so it's one of those things where it's like I'm going to have to be, you know, keep getting a little bigger or whatever. So. Um, whereas like, you know, a guy like Carlos is probably 226, I bet. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Because he's short, that. isn't he? He's like 5'6", isn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he looks like he's, you know, humongous, so. <laughs> yeah. But you know what, with you, it's like there's, um, like, normally I can pretty much guess somebody's height and weight, but it's like, say, with Joel Thomas, I thought he was like 5'10", 260, and he says, no, I'm 5'7", and 225. And it's like, you know, you're, I, that's a really, I, I didn't realize you were that heavy, you know? It's just incredible. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I pretty much uh, just got to keep going forward and try to keep improving. You know what I mean? And uh, fill the frame, like I said. Yeah. Well, you got your pro card now, mate. So you can, you know. So, yeah. uh, so who who preps you then? Uh, so my coach Andrew Barry. We've actually been together since 2015. So um, he was actually a disciple of John Meadows. Um, oh, he's wow. a coach on his website. Um, so we sort of had a close lineage there. Um, so, you know, I think John would be really proud to look back on this because he was, uh, him and Andrew are like best friends. So yeah. um, that's sort of cool to be part of that. Um, and yeah, so me and Andrew have been together for all these shows. Um, and so it's been a really great relationship um, as far as, you know, just sort of sticking with the same guy um, and sort of learning my body. Um, and this prep was really fun because it was a little different. Like, so normally, uh, we some, one thing that we did differently this year was um, so I usually am known to get in like pretty good conditioning and like, I feel like I usually sacrifice a little bit of fullness to get in that kind of conditioning. 
And this year we were able to sort of keep a fuller look, but also still be conditioning. And so what we did is we actually kept my water in like the whole time. Um, whereas usually we would cut it, you know what I mean? And sort of, you know, have sips or whatever the day of the show. But uh, I think it made a huge difference in my look. Um, we kept the water in high the whole day, the, the day before the show. And then did like 0.5 liter, uh, like, you know, in between meals, which is a good amount of water for me um, than I'm used to. And I, I think it just helped me keep that nice full round look which I sort of have been knocked for in the past as far as, like, judging and stuff like that. Because usually the judges sometimes are like, oh, like, you're peeled, but you're a little flat, you know? So it's mm -hmm. one of those things trying to chase that balance, right, of, you know, fullness and conditioning. So, um, and I think at the national level, it's such a, fullness is such a big criteria. And then obviously once you get to the pro ranks, it's even a bigger criteria, you know, that you sort of have to match 